few kind words of comfort means a lot from an old friend. Just a simple phone call could brighten someone's day. Let them know you miss them and hear me when I say. Reach out, reach out to see if they're okay. Don't put off till tomorrow. Nothing quite as comforting as talking to a friend. It sure feels good to make somebody feel good now and then. So take the time to make the time. Pick up the telephone. Let somebody know you care. We're not in this alone. There will never be a better time. Don't let this moment go. Someone. So much you'll never know, and though we can't be with them, reach out and keep in touch. Tell your friends and family you miss them all so much. Reach out. What the good Lord said. Good times will return again. There's brighter days ahead. Though we may be weary on our hearts, but to the test, reach out and call a friend. Our old friends are the best. Reach out to see if they're okay. Don't put up tomorrow. What you can do. Christmas and welcome to the Reach Out Country Christmas Reunion. <laughs> what a night we're going to have here tonight. We're looking forward to chatting and hearing the best of our country music family right here tonight. We know it's going to be a brilliant night and Margo is going to help me co-host it, but we don't think it's that formal at all, Margo, sure we don't? I'm not at all. Bit of an old chat with everybody Bit that we know. An old chat with... Old friends. Old friends, that's for sure. Well, tonight we're going to start off with a gentleman that uh, is one of our finest country music singers. He's incredible success over the last number of years, a great, great band, and one of our own. Will you please put your hands together for Jerry Guthrie? Thank you, Trudy. How are we fixed back here? How are you? I'm great, I'm great. How is Christmas so far? So far, so good. So far, so good. It's been a, it's been a quiet year for us, so we're great, great to get back to real celebrating this year, you know. And how did you get on, style. Jerry, in the last year and a half? How I, got on, I kept myself busy with different things, you know, and as soon as we could get back doing any kind of work at all, I was back out on the road. I was one of the lucky ones that got back kind of early to it, you know. So it's, uh, it's been up and down, but overall, we're in a good place at the minute. And of Thank course, God. you've been reaching out. You've been reaching out across the world at this stage to That's all right. your fans <laughs> all over. That's did right. you enjoy that? It was. It was. And you know, at the time it came along, it was a time that we kind of needed something to give us a lift. And I suppose to reconnect us with the people that we'd been meeting week in, week out at all the different venues. And to be able to pick up the phone and brighten up the day, it gave us a lift as well, you know. It was mighty. 
Will you do an old song for us? I might. Get the old party going. Why not? Will you? What will you do for us? I'll do one that was uh, it kind of kept us going for the last few years, you know, it was really popular on the dance floor. Are you ready to kick it off back there, lads? This is called The New Moon Over My Shoulder. Jerry like Thank you. You promised with the new moon you'd be coming back to me Many moons have passed since then I've waited patiently There's a new moon over my shoulder And an old love in my heart I remember now that I'm older What you told me the day we had to you promised with the new moon you'd be coming back to me But many moons have passed since then I've waited patiently There's a new moon over my shoulder And an old love in my heart Here comes the band for a bit Patiently, there's a new moon over my shoulder and an old love in my heart. I remember now that I'm older what you told me the day we had to part. You promised you would write me, but so far there's not a line. Still, I wait and make believe someday. So, thank you very much. I'm dying laughing because right behind you is our queen of country, um, Philomena Begley, and a, again, a Tyrone woman, right behind a Mayo man. I know. Have you been chatting? No, but she walked Not in yet. singing a Tyrone song there Did you? 10 minutes ago. To <laughs> How do you Talk think I'm dressed? I'm dressed for the... Oh. He's causing trouble already. Say that, Philly. Say I'm well re dre dressed up for the occasion. You look great. Look great in the Tyrone colours. But Mayo, talk to me about Mayo and all the football. How, oh, how are you getting more, on with that? More heartbreak this year, <laughs> unfortunately. But we don't begrudge it to Tyrone this year either. I knew well, you it's great to see I knew you. you wouldn't. We it's wouldn't have begrudged yeah. it to you either. I know yourself <laughs> and 30 other, 31 other counties exactly. are all shouting exactly. for us really, you know. But uh, it wasn't our year again, you know. <laughs> well, Jerry, you recorded a gorgeous song about Mayo. Will you tell us a little bit about who wrote it and will, yeah. sing a little bit of it? Around 2012, I was lucky enough to become friendly with a man called Jerry Carney. Oh. Jerry okay. is famous for writing a number of massive songs, The yeah. Cottage by the Sea and Paddy, which was a huge hit yeah. for him. And he wrote this one and had it out as a single and he sent it on to me to see if we have any interest in, in maybe doing it. And yeah. uh, we got into Jonathan up there in Granard and put it down as soon as we got a chance. And it's been a great song throughout the pandemic with the amount of people that were in contact with us that have been away from home, yeah. that connected to home through the song. It's great, you know. I know you'll be singing it in Crow Park someday. Help God. Help God. will be back next year too. Okay. We'd love to hear it, Jerry. This called Mayo will always be home whenever you're ready. Let's hear The barman's calling. Time, gentlemen, please. At a dark corner table, he seemed ill at ease. His face told the story. His eyes would betray He said, friend, are you going my way? An old faded picture He kept in his coat Came with a letter That his mother wrote Taken at Easter 
1963, he said, everyone's there except me. Mayo will always be home, no matter wherever I roam. Although we're divided by land and by sea, Mayo will always be home. Raised on the shore, he talked of the sun and the cloud on sleeve more. Barely a man when he left behind someone who still crosses his mind. He said they're all gone now, there's no one at home. His mother saw 90 and died all alone. The time wasn't in it to bid her goodbye. How it hurt. To see this old man cry Mayo will always be home No matter wherever I roam Although we're divided by land and by sea Mayo will always be home to me In Mayo, this old man and me We stopped by the old home one last time to see The house and the garden and the open half door And he said, as we stood on the shore Mayo will always be home No matter wherever I roam Although we're divided by a land and by sea What a talent, what a talent. Sandy Kelly. Well, hello. It's wonderful to see you, Sandy. Follow that. I follow that. What a great, great talent we have in Jerry Guthrie. Yeah, and a great friend of mine. Actually, Jerry's first job was in my band. Hey, we didn't yeah. know that. Tell mm -hmm. us a little bit more. Yeah, I think you were 19, were you, Jerry? I was, yeah. Yeah. Long time ago, now. Joined. He joined my band when he was 19, and then occasionally now he lets me join his band. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way it goes in our business, isn't it? <laughs> Sandy, it's great that you're here with us uh, Christmas Thank you. night. It's wonderful to be amongst friends again. It's great. Yeah, isn't it lovely? To see everybody, yeah. That sense of unity again, you know. How have you been coping? I know Christmas is particularly is tinged with a little bit of sadness for you with the passing yeah, of your but, you know, beautiful sister, Barbara. Yeah, it, it is. But, you know, thankfully, um, I'm able to to take the positive, you know, from most situations. And I have a wonderful family. I have a grandson who's only seven and a daughter, Barbara, with special needs. So they keep me busy. So I don't get a lot of time really to feel sorry for myself or, you know, I'm always housework. My house, would, on, on a positive note, my house was never as clean since COVID. <laughs> the Hoover is worn out. <laughs> but Sandy, talk to me a little bit about Barbara because a very special birthday this year for Barbara, wasn't it? Yeah, my daughter Barbara. Your daughter yeah. Barbara, yeah. Yeah, about uh, the, let me see, the 29th of September, my daughter Barbara celebrated her 40th birthday. 40th, wow. Yeah. Wow. And uh, Jerry, you were at the party. And she had a great celebration and um, it happens, it's the same thing every year. She has a party every year and it's always a big party, lots of music and whatever. And as soon as 12 o'clock comes, she starts talking about Santa Claus. The, par the, par the party's not over five minutes like that. She wants to know, <laughs> I have to write to Santa Claus. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but she's great. She's, thankfully, she's doing great. She coped well with COVID and uh, had a good understanding, you know, and um, it, that part of it. Was, it was a bit tricky having her home such a long time that got a little bit tricky okay you well you, just the adjustment was kind of well no the first her, lockdown i suppose nobody knew what they were dealing with and uh, barbara was home for 19 weeks and if she had gone back to respite i wouldn't have been able to bring her back home 
for an in, that went on indefinitely yeah. as far as we knew. Yeah. And so uh, she's as cute as a fox. She knew that we couldn't send her anywhere <laughs> if she misbehaved. <laughs> so she took all the chances she could get to do everything she's always wanted to do to her mother. <laughs> And people say, you know, she doesn't look 40, she hasn't a wrinkle. And I said, that's because I have all of them. I have all her wrinkles. Not at all, you look beautiful. Sandy, will you sing for us here tonight? Because will, we love yeah. hearing your beautiful voice. Tell yeah, us a little bit you. about this song you're going to do. Well, this is a song that everybody knows called The Wind Beneath My Wings. And uh, it, I recorded it years and years ago. Bette Midler, of course, had a huge hit with it. But I recorded it in the early 90s. And then myself and Jonathan uh, did it on the Late Late Show uh, in memory of my sister not that long ago. So I thought just for a change, sure, I'll, I'll sing the wind. We're delighted to wings. hear you. Sandy okay. Kelly. I'll give it a bash. <laughs> Thank you. It must have been cold there in my shadow To never have sunlight on your face You were content to let me shine While you always walked a step behind I was the one with all the glory But you were the one with all the strength Only a face, just a name But I never once heard you To go unnoticed oh, But I have it all right here Here in my heart I want you to know I know the truth That I would be nothing
beautiful. Beautiful, Sandy. And thank you for sharing that with us on Christmas night. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you very much. Listen, Johnny Cash, when you hear Sandy Kelly, you just hear the name Johnny Cash straight away. Talk to us a little bit about the late, great Johnny Cash. used to Johnny be June Cash. Carter, but no, it's Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I wish. <laughs> Talk to us, that, some of us that have never had the opportunity, obviously, to ever even meet Johnny Cash. Tell uh, us a little Tom bit. Tom Allen here, you yeah. worked with Johnny Tom, Cash, didn't you? Tom you did, did, yeah. I don't know, did anybody else? You did. And yeah. Margo, yeah. Margo did, yeah. yeah. So I think he was particularly fond of Ireland. So, you know, some of us did get a chance to meet him and, and work with him. And Tom, I think you would say, and Margo, he's just an ordinary, an ordinary, really nice family person. family in Ireland or what was his love of Ireland? No, I, think he, I think he, you know, he, he dug back into his uh, history and ancestry. And uh, I think he found his um, relatives in Cork. And Scotland. He loved Scotland as well, you know. So I just was, it's one of those things where I was just lucky enough to be in the right place at the right time, you know. And I know you did a beautiful duet that you recorded. Was it Marquis Castle? I know you were there lately. Marquis Castle, yeah. Uh, Marquis Castle is, is about 10 minutes from my house in Sligo, oh, yeah. and I don't know if anybody's had a chance to visit. But Johnny Cash came down there in 1990, and him and June and the family and the band they spent Halloween at Mercury Castle. And I remember they went off looking for a party shop in 1990, <laughs> Sligo, to get Halloween costumes. So they ended up making their own. And I think Johnny dressed as an Indian. And uh, I missed it. I'd love to have seen it because June was a page three girl. <laughs> So I don't know if she went the full Monty or what way that went. I don't None know. of those photos circulate. Yeah. Is there <laughs> but Mercury Castle is a special place and we did the video for this we song. And I sing it quite often with Jerry. Well, I'm looking forward to it. We're and all I, looking forward to it. I hate to tell to Jerry, but I sang it recently with Michael English. I was cheating. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> now you tell me. <laughs> Michael well, you does know, the vine, but we'd love to hear it, wouldn't we? Love to hear her singing Wood Carver with Jerry Guthrie. Sandy Kelly. <laughs> The house of my dreams Carved me a valley Made me a stream That runs through the mountains Under the trees Would carver do this for me? Well, I can carve you a house Out of oak, out of pine Bake you a castle That sits on the rhine Or even a cottage that no one could find with the sun that forever will shine. But I can make it real for you. It's only as real as the wood that I use. I can make your dreams come true. That's something you have to do. The love I can't find Make him gentle Tender and kind Carve up my heart That will always be mine Would carver Take your time well, I can carve you a knife Of cowboy jeans Maybe a sailor Coming home from the sea As hard as the oak Soft as the pine, just like the man you can't find. But I can make it real for you. It's only as real as the wood that I use. I can make your dreams come true. That's something you. Mind if I watch your hands are so smooth, your chisel so sharp. I promise that I will not get in your way. Would carver, please let me stay. Well, I can carve your house and I can carve your man, but I could give you much more with these wood carving hands. Oh, oh. You won't be no bother. 
if you want to stay Do you know what I'm trying to say? I can make it real for you I'm just as real as the word that I use I can make your dreams come true There's nothing more you'll have to do The house of my dreams Carve me a valley Make me a stream That runs through the mountains Under the trees Would carver do this for me? Sandy Kelly and Jerry Guthrie! Woohoo! Well done, that was brilliant. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Margot, I know you're going to be chatting to one of our favourite country music singers in just a minute, but talk to us a little bit about what's unique in Irish country music because it has its uniqueness and we have this whole sense of a, a sense of family here. The, every time we meet people that don't really know what country music is about, this, the first thing they say is like, you're like one big family. Uh, tell us what's so unique about Irish country music. I honestly think that we're, we all think sort of the same way. I mean, I've been talking to you and Billy about this country family reunion for a long time. And I spoke about it even to somebody else for a long time. And they didn't take a blind bit of notice of me. But I do believe, and I, I, I only tour a little bit now, and I listen to all of the acts, all of the people here, and all of the young acts that are coming up. And we have pure gold here in this country. We really do. And because it's sad, but it's good that it, ta it had to take something like the COVID for us to be able to show the, the small amount of people that's here because we couldn't fit everybody in, how much we care for one another. And I think if we love one another and, and you know, put it all out there for the people that are going to be listening to this show, we have wonderful talent here. And I listen to it every day at home, I really do. And I'm looking at talent here that you wouldn't find anywhere. So I think that's what we've got. We've got secret talent and we need to tell the world about it. Yeah, well, absolutely. And uh, well done, well said, Margot. Yeah. And of course, as you said, there's a lot of our country music stars. We couldn't get everybody in tonight on our first Reach Out Country Christmas reunion. But you're going to be chatting to one of our finest uh, country singers in just uh, a minute, Margot. Absolutely. And this man here, well, he holds a great place in my heart, Mick. I've, I've always loved Mick Flavin singing. And uh, my dear mother that passed away, uh, any time that he was around, he always, always called to see her. And she thought the world of Mick. And Mick is unique because whenever you meet him, he's ready to pucker the lips and kiss you. <laughs> he really... <laughs> and you see, Mick, I'm not married, so I'd be very glad to see you puckering them <laughs> lips. But anyway, it's a, lovely, it's a lovely time to be here. It's a lovely time to share Christmas with all of the people that are here. And I would love if you give us a couple of songs. The gentleman of country. Thank you very music. much indeed, Margot. It's uh, lovely to be here with the uh, country family. And uh, I just want to say thanks to Trudy and Billy for having this wonderful concert on Christmas night. And of course, Christmas is a very happy time. It can be a very sad time as well. But uh, for our family, it was sad for quite a long time. But now it's very, very happy for us because we have uh, six beautiful grandkids. And... Uh, Oh, yeah. Great stuff, great stuff. And the good thing about having six lovely grandchildren is that they all can hear. Because our boys, we had two, two boys and both of them were born deaf. And um, now it's just fantastic because the grandkids can come along and speak to granddad and granny. And of course, they can do the sign language then to their own father and mother, which is fantastic, you know. Oh, is that wonderful? So, yeah. So... From all, from all of us here for this Christmas, 
We send them our love. Thanks, Margo. And thanks to everybody here tonight. I do a wee song that uh, Patsy Kavanagh wrote for me. He wrote many good songs for me, including Home to Donegal, a great favourite. And he wrote this wee song for me uh, back in 89. It's one all about the old schoolyard. I have walked down the road, a road full of memories, on a journey back to visit childhood friends. And I stopped at a gate that led into a schoolyard. Like forgotten feelings come to me again The silence that stares From the dirty, dusty windows Broken only by the babble of a stream And I feel as though I'm watched By a thousand different faces As I recollect a thousand different names Now the old schoolyard Wild and overgrown All the fences I have crossed Are broken down And I've learned many things Some of them best forgotten Since the last time that I stood upon that ground Voices calling out to me From deep inside I see one of the faces Looking at the man that he turned out to be Now the old schoolyard Is wild and overgrown All the fences I have crossed are broken down And I've learned many things Some of them since the last time that I stood upon that ground Oh, the old schoolyard is wild and overgrown All the fences I have crossed are broken down And I've learned many things, some of them best forgotten Since the last time that I stood upon that ground Thank you. Will you give us another one? <laughs> or are you finished with that? Would you like another kiss, is it? <laughs> I'll do a song that I recorded back in uh, 1987. Uh, it was, um, in fact, it was uh, one of the, it was the first album I had really. Uh, it was called, I'm going, the album was called I'm Going to Make It After All. And uh, I recorded it for a company called Harmac way back then. And uh, uh, it was a good song for me, and I've been sort of singing it every night that I'm out since. It's called Wildflowers. Thank you. The hills were alive with wildflowers, and I was as wild, even wilder than they. Or at least I could run They just died in the sun And I refused to just wither in place Just a wild mountain rose Needing freedoms to grow So I ran fearing not where I'd go When a flower grows wild It can always survive While flowers don't care where they grow and the flowers I knew in the fields where I grew Were content to be lost in the crowd They were common and close, I had no room to grow And I wanted so much to branch out So I uprooted myself from my home ground and left Took my dreams and I took to the 
grow When a flower grows wild It can always survive While flowers don't care where they grow Fast and wild and I never felt right In a garden so different from me I just never belong I just long to be gone So the garden one day set me free I hitched a ride with the wind And since she was my friend I just let her decide where we'd go grows wild it can always survive while flowers don't care where they grow just a while rambling rose seeking mysteries untold no regret for the path that i chose when a flower grows wild it can always survive while flowers don't care Well Thank done. you, Margo. Well Thank done. you. Reach Out Radio, the new national and global online radio station, bringing you the very best in Irish and American country music 24 7. Launching on Saturday, January the 1st, New Year's Day at 9am with incredible prizes to give away, including tickets to Garth Brooks. With thanks to Aiken Promotions. Tune in on reachoutradio.com or download the Reach Out Radio app. Reach Out Radio, a better brand of country music. So Far So Good is the brand new album from Mike Denver. It's alright, it's okay. 12 brand new recordings. Good enough for me. Available from your CD supplier and on all streaming platforms. Good enough for me and Bobby McGee. Bless every home beside your phone. My own dear Galway baby. Mike Denver. So Far So Good. Don't take her, she's all I've got. Moore's Drinks. Proud sponsors of the Trudy Lawler Show on Reach Out Radio, a better brand of country. Sixty, the new album from Daniel O'Donnell, featuring fifteen brand new recordings. Sixty, out now. Billy Morrissey Events proudly present Portugal 2022. Hosted by the fantastic Trudy Lawler and featuring a stellar cast of stars of Irish country. This will be a fantastic week of music, dancing and great fun in Villamora, Portugal from May the 15th to the 22nd, 2022. Staying in the beautiful Dom Pedro Villamora Hotel, enjoy a superb week of fun in the sun with all the stars including Margot, Brendan Shine, Mick Flavin, Jerry Guthrie, Mick Foster and Moya Fraser, John Hogan, Paddy O'Brien, John McNichol, Max T. Barnes, T.R. Dallas, David James, P.J. Murray, and lots more. To book this amazing week of country music in the sun, check out our website, billymorrisseyevents.com or follow us on Facebook. Places are limited, so don't delay. Book today. Stewart's Music Shop Dungannon, County Tyrone, Ireland's leading record shop. We specialise in Irish country and American country music. We also stock rock, pop and the biggest selling chart titles. Musical instruments for the beginner and for the professional. Come visit us at Stewart's Music Shop Dungannon for all your musical needs. Welcome back. Hope you're having a wonderful Christmas and uh, we're delighted to be here tonight in the INEC Club right here in Killarney uh, for the Reach Out Country Christmas Reunion! 
Margo, you're going to be chatting to one of our best loved country and Irish music stars. Absolutely, and, and one of my best loved. I remember when Brendan had a bunch of violets blue and I had I'll Forgive and I'll Try to Forget. Just a few years ago. A few years ago, and we have been friends since. I've always followed all the songs that he's brought out. My favourite of all is Grandad, and uh, I loved him singing that, and I got to know Kathleen and the girls, and it was lovely. I was there at your 50th. You were indeed, down in Brideswell. Yes, in Brideswell, uh, so... Yeah. And Would thanks you... again for coming down. Oh, not at all, yeah. sure. You were at mine. Ah, uh, sure I was indeed. Yeah. Indeed you were. But anyway, Brendan, <laughs> yeah. I have loved you all down through the years. Well, it's great to be wonderful. here. It's great to be here with you and Trudy and everybody at Christmas. You know, yes, and, you and know, it is great. Christmas is a, is a sad old time and a happy yeah, time as well. Yeah, it is you know. indeed, yeah. Some of the lads, Jimmy Buckley says to me, are you nervous? Yes. I said I'm as nervous as a turkey in December, you know. So <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, it's a sad time as well, but it's still uh, a great time to celebrate. A lovely words you said about all this great family we have here. Yeah, and, we, uh, ha we have. We have a wonderful have, family. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, oft it's, it's, I often sit at home and I, I play all, absolutely all the artists that are yeah. here. And I think about the wonderful, wonderful talent that we have in this country. Yeah. We really do. And sometimes, you know, when we're... When we're doing a show, the odd time that we get yeah. any television, they have to sort of bring in somebody from Nashville or from America. Of course they And are. I always say, we have enough talent in this little country of ours. Didn't we supply them with all the talent Absolutely. originally? And do you know, you know. something? The first, <laughs> the, first time, the first time that I was lucky enough to meet Dolly, yeah. Dolly and I sat down with her father and that's what she said to me. All of the old songs came from the old of course country it is. of, of course Ireland. It, yeah. But no matter, our so, turn will come and we'll be so back look, again. what about the lobby? But sure, there you are, about <laughs> 1979, 20, 42 years ago now. I, I, I was always recording little ditties and I recorded the once your old lobby washed down and sure it changed everything for me. It meant, it, meant, it meant that 1979 was a very remarkable year for me. The Pope came to Ireland in 1979. Yeah. We opened the pub myself and Kathleen and Loan. And of course, what was the lounge called? It was called the Lobby the Lounge. Lobby lounge. Yeah. And the late Larry Gogan, I always heard him. Larry used to play at the hit parade. He'd always play number one at one every day. Yeah. And for four weeks, he played the you want your old lobby was to number one. Movie. So it was a great, a great, great time for me and a great year. Great. Well, look, will you give it to us now? Of course I will. Christmas time, old lobby, and it's a great party song. We'll all sing it together. Absolutely. Brendan Shine. Brendan Shine. I've a nice little cottage and a small bit of land In a place by the side of the sea And I care about no one because I believe There's nobody cares about me My peace is destroyed and I'm fairly annoyed By a lassie who works in the town She sighs every day as she passes the way Do you want your old lobby washed down? Do you want your old lobby washed down? Can't shine Do you want your old lobby washed down? She sighs every day as she passes the way Do you want your old lobby washed down? The other day the old landlord came by for his rent I told him Besides, it wasn't fair for him to ask me to pay The times were so awfully bad He felt discontent at not getting his rent And he shook his big head with the frown Says he, I'll take half But says I with the laugh Do you want your old lobby wash down? Do you want your old lobby wash down? Shine. Do you want your old lobby washed down? Says he, I'll take half, but says I with the laugh. Do you want your old lobby washed down? Seem to be so very shy 
As to kissing young maids Should they seem half afraid But they would if they could on the sly Ah, but me I do things In a different way I don't give the nod or a frown When I goes to court I says here goes for sport Do you want your lobby washed down? All together! Uh, do you want your lobby washed down? Sunshine, do you want your lobby washed down? When I goes to court, I says here goes for sport. Do you want your lobby washed down? Ah, uh, do you want your lobby washed down? Sunshine, do you want your lobby washed down? When I Good on you, Brenda. Now, well, fair play to you. Give us another one, sure. Seeing as you're standing now, you may as well carry on. About Christmas 1982, I was recording in London and I, I was recording a song for a man called uh, Les Reed. And he was, his grandfather came from County Down and I was recording a song of his called County Down. And I went in the next morning to do the vocal and when I went in, this man was sitting at the piano and the tears were rolling down his eyes because he was after his best friend lost his uh, dad the, that night. And he, he stayed up all night, he told me, and he wrote this song for him. And I said to him, I said, do you mind if I record that song? I did, I think, the following week, and I've been singing it ever since. It's one called My Son. Beautiful song. Beautiful song. Son. For the seed of life in me And now I can't believe the man I see With pride I watch you so much to change the world for me my son you gave my simple life its key through you I see God's love and mystery you build up my life With your sweet music It's written in our song This melody belongs To you and me, my son Son I taught you everything I know But soon One day I'll have to let you go I would gladly die If it saves you from the heart And all the bad breaks That tear your world apart My son You faced the truth and you stood tall But now Face the hardest truth of all I must say goodbye But you must go on leaving And when my life 
is true I'll always be with you My one and only son I watch you now with pride What more is there to life Than you and me My son You are My son Absolutely wonderful, Brendan. Wonderful, wonderful, beautiful, beautiful song. Beautiful song. And I think, you know, there's a lady sitting beside me now. And uh, although I, I've, I've, known, I've known about her and I've known her for many, many years, I never really did get to know you uh, until probably seven years ago. And it was through... Your you little don't know all about me, though, do you? Your, your little grandson, Tom, Yeah. Uh, that I got to know you. And, of course, <laughs> we're all known as something. You know, she's known as the first lady of country. <laughs> That's a laugh. And we, ha we have those titles here the way they have them in America. And there's another one coming up. I never forgave Dennis for calling me that, but there you go. Well, it was him that put it, put it on me. You're the first lady to him. <laughs> But I've, I've, I've learned, you know, an awful lot about Susan McCann in the last seven years. And I, I get, got a lump in my throat when I realised what a family grandmother and mother you are. Okay, well, you know, over the years, I suppose, you know, it, it's hard, Philly, I'll tell you, it's so, it's hard being on the road when you have kids. Yes, of you know, course. And, um, so I only had two. I mean, you didn't break any records. Or anything. Yeah, <laughs> I just had I a boy and a girl. Yeah. I said I couldn't get anything different, so I didn't go again. <laughs> but So I, I have Brandon and Linda, and uh, so, so Brandon's a, he's an old man now. Yeah, well, anyway. <laughs> he's near 50, and Linda's not too far off it either. But we, I have five lovely grandchildren. You have. So I spend a lot of, because I missed out on my own children growing yes. up, um, I spend a lot of time with them. I mind, and then you know, Tom was born very early, and yes. so he's a special wee boy. He's so spoiled special. rotten. He so is special. <laughs> and of course, then you and Dennis okay. celebrated a big milestone. Fifty milestones. years. Aye. Fifty years. Yeah. Fifty years. I know. And I was saying he has no hair in his head. You know that God would love torture. Him. It's, no, it's no wonder. <laughs> but anyway, I was saying to her uh, the night of the of the fiftieth, I said, "I suppose there'll be." Something happened in the night, and she says, "No, he's to take his heart tablets." <laughs> I said, "He's here taking his heart tablets." <laughs> but anyway, but anyway, you are, you are, you're a wonderful, wonderful singer. I, oh, well, I thank you, Margaret. Your singing. Thank you so much. And um, we were lucky over the years, I suppose, we weren't we? We were lucky. You know, was all, I was t saying to somebody before all of the young girls came al along, like these and Trudy and all yeah. of them. It was always Susan, Phil, and Margot. That's the way you know, the, the old dolls. So, that was <laughs> the, we're the old dolls. And and we need it. all the young ones well, yeah. coming up. We do, Claudia. We yeah. need all of we need the We absolutely do, do to we keep, do. And to we keep need the country all the music. Young, the young guys yeah. coming up as well to carry on. And there are a lot of them. There's some of the great young fellas as well. Absolutely. Come up we, have, yeah. we have wonderful talent and it's great. But I would love if you would just get up there and sing a couple of songs. Well, I will, surely. Why not? stand up and show us. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stand up because it always wouldn't be great to say I have to stand and sing. Show us the nice leather, leathery jacket. Susan McCann. Thanks, Margot. I'm going to sing this wee song. I recorded this song on my very first album. It was originally recorded by Dolly. And when my dad, God rest his soul, he's been dead now over 30 years, but when he heard this song, he insisted that I'd sing it because he could relate very much to the story of the song. And Dolly wrote it about her family. And when he heard it, he said it was just uh, very similar to the way you reared us. So uh, I hope you enjoy listening to it as much as I enjoy singing it. It's called Coat of Many Colours. Back through the years, we go wandering once again. Back to the seasons of my youth. I recall the box of rags. Someone gave to us And how my mama put those rags to use There were rags of many colours Some of them were small I didn't 
have a cold And it was way down in the fall Mama sewed the rags together Sewing every piece with love She made my coat of many colors That I was so proud of As she sewed, she told the story From the Bible she had read About a coat of many colors Joseph wore and then she said Perhaps this coat will bring you Good luck and happiness I just couldn't wait to wear it My mama blessed it with a kiss My coat of many colors That my mama made for me Made only from rags And I wore it so proudly Although we had no money I was rich as I could be in my coat of many colors that my mama made for me. So with patches on my britches and holes in both my shoes, in my coat of many colors, I hurried off to school just to find the others laughing and making fun of me in my coat. Of Cause I felt I was rich And I told them of the love My mama sewed in every stitch And I told them of the stories Mama told me while she sewed And my coat of many colors Was worth more than all their gold They didn't understand it So I tried to make them see Poor old if they choose to be But I didn't have much money I was rich as I could be In my coat of many colors That my mama made for me They just for me Oh, thank you. Very, very good. Susan, I got a little uh, phone call from somebody and I was telling them that we were all getting together to do something for Christmas. Now, I didn't tell them it was that we were doing it the day or anything, but they requested a song that I asked you about earlier on that you recorded way back when the sun, when the sun, yeah, when the sun says goodbye to the mountains. Would you do it for us? <laughs> I will surely, I'll, yeah. Somebody, somebody said to me recently I should re-release re that Absolutely. song as a single. Absolutely, just before um, it's time, I think. It was think, a great yeah. song. That, do you remember, Philly, way back? Yeah. It's that long ago now, I can hardly remember, Mark. <laughs> but well, anyway, Philly, I'm going to do it Philly for you now. help you. <laughs> it's called When the Sun Says Goodbye to the Mountains. When the sun Hey! 
country music thank you so so much well done the pleasure was all mine it was lovely to be here with you and thanks for having us well trudy yourself and your hubby billy have been at the helm of this reach out can you tell us a little bit about how it came to pass and listen it was very kind of an idea that just really came when we were out walking with our dog jacko and we were chatting about the effect the pandemic was having on us all in the yes. country music family and some of us coped fine, others were struggling a little bit. And we also knew the fans and the supporters that follow all the singers and all the musicians were really struggling, especially the second lockdown just after Christmas. So we thought, wouldn't it be a lovely idea if we could connect the fans and followers with the stars through the medium of a phone call? And so I went on my radio show and I just said, look, we're going to not give out prizes today on my radio show. We're going to just ask, is there anybody out there that you know that is deserving of a phone call or a video call from their favorite Irish country star? And within 10 minutes, it was over, I think, 700 messages came in. So we knew straight away that the demand was there. So I remember then the first call I got while I was still on air was from yourself, Margot, and... Mike Denver, I think Robert Mazell as well, and all the lads bit by bit got in touch and they said, listen, we'd like to be part of this. Um, we want to be able to reach out to our fans through a phone call. Lots of you have been doing it anyway for years, but it was just maybe to, to reach out to people that maybe didn't get that phone call or maybe were a big fan of any of the singers, but weren't brave enough to come up and maybe say hello. So it just took off. And I mean, it, it took off because of the wonderful family we have here in the Irish country music business. And everybody, not one person, I'd say my phone number is blocked on a lot of your phones at this day. <laughs> but for that couple of months I could picture, I was just, you know, sending over messages to the singers and not one of, one of our lovely, lovely musicians or singers here today, um, they, none of them said no. And they said, we want to be able to do that. And they did. And they reached out and they made calls all over the world. And that meant so much, Margot. It, was, it meant so, so much to the people that are fans of the Irish country music stars to receive a phone call and particularly the people that were away from home. And I know President Joe Biden congratulated all the Irish country music family on reaching out to the Irish Americans and our own president as well acknowledged the great work that was done over that three month period. And we finished up, as you know, with a virtual concert on Easter Sunday night and we were in a position through all of us, not just me, it's all of us together. Uh, to raise nearly 40,000 for Chiline and the ISPCC as well. So that brought it to a, a great conclusion. And then lots of you, Daniel and all, was just getting in touch and saying, you can't finish it now. We all want to do more. So this is the next little journey for us, uh, our Reach Out Country Christmas reunion. And I, I, think it's, I think it's important that, you know, as a pity we couldn't have every country artist here, but, but uh, all of us that are here today, we all sing from the heart. You know, we're all, we all love our people from the heart, you know, and, and that's very important. And I noticed that on the phone calls. Uh, I remember I was, uh, coming <laughs> I was coming close to be 70, you know. I'm not as old as other, pe other people. Uh, <laughs> I'm not as old as other people, but uh, anyway, I remember I, I called this man in uh, County Kilkenny and... Um, uh, he he was living alone with Paddy, his dog. And uh, he told me a big story about himself. And I said, well, you have my number on your phone now. So if ever you feel lonesome, I said, you know, I says, pick up the phone and give me a call. And uh, so 
Lo and behold, on my birthday, however he found out, he rang and he must have been, he must have been shouting from the door into the phone because I could nearly hear him from Kilkenny. He said, it's me, Donal and Paddy the dog. Happy 70th birthday. <laughs> So I've had a lot of people that, and I'm sure all of you have had people that still, you know, keep in touch with you. And it was a wonderful thing to do. And from that, to say, little acorns, big trees grow, and this is what has happened. And I hope to God that we can all, you know, go forward from here. Well, after saying all that now, Trudy, you're going to have to sing a couple of songs yourself. I think it's only fitting. Thank you, Margot. And I think what's also unique about the Irish country music family is our connection to our spirituality and, and to God. And this is a song uh, that I hope everyone's going to sing here with me tonight called Why Me, God. <laughs> Why me, Lord? What have I ever done to deserve even one of the pleasures I've known? Lord, what did I ever do that was worth loving you or the kindness you showed? try to repay all I've taken from you. Lord, I can show someone else what I've been through myself on my way. Thanks, Margot. Are you Thank going you. to give us another one? Well, I'm going to do a song that I'm hoping we'll all sing with this uh, song. It's the first song that 
Billy Morrissey, Billy, my husband and manager and all that, wrote. And he wrote it from an expression that his late dad used to say called Old Friends Are Best. So he wrote the song, first song he ever wrote and I uh, was delighted to record and I hope if you know it, you'll sing it with me here on Christmas night as well. Okay. <laughs> My favourite people in our Irish country music family is this living legend, T.R. Dallas. A living legend. Is that what you're... We love you. That... We love you. <laughs> well, thanks very much. It's good to be here. Well, over the last year and a half, I've got to know you an awful lot more because we've been in touch a lot and various different, I suppose, projects that we've been working on as well, Tom. Um, the Irish country music family and business is going to really, really be huge in 2022, isn't it? Well, you would like to think so anyway. We've got a great array of young talent coming through. Uh, we've got fantastic musicians in this country. We have great uh, radio, local radio promoting the music. And we'll be looking forward to uh, a great 2022. Hopefully it will explode. And all those young artists who, are, who have spent a lot of money and were trying so hard will, you know, get up and get out and it'll all happen for them. Tom, you have a beautiful granddaughter. Talk to us a little bit about how Christmas has been with her. Well, uh, yeah, she's a, she's the only one we have, of course, and she's a, 
very special. She's great crack, and you know, she's nine, nine now, just there in December, and uh, she's full of life, full of energy, loves. She likes me foster. She likes horses, and and uh, she loves football. She's full of sport, and you know she's great. Spends a good bit of time with us at the weekends, and that's great. And since the lockdown, you know, I, I'm not like a lot of other people. I'm not busy, and I don't want to be as busy as I was. So more time to spend with her. Are you kind of? Is that a conscious decision? Absolutely, yeah. Okay, Absolutely. so so I still the... tour a bit, but you know, maybe just do. You know, maybe two nights a week or five nights a month or something like that. You're valuing home life a lot more. Well, I suppose, you know, when you, when you get free travel, it's time to start <laughs> thinking about slowing down a bit, you know. That as well. <laughs> it's all right when you look around and see these young people here and uh, it's great to see their energy and great to see them out there doing the business. And, and look, at uh, I've been there, I suppose, and had a good had a good run. Never thought I would uh, have such a good run in the music business that I had. I've been very lucky. I recorded good songs, that, well, there were, there were songs that were good to me, and I've been happy about that. And as T.R. Dallas, how many years are you actually performing as T.R. Dallas? T.R. Dallas started in 1980. 1980, so that's... Yeah, 1980, yeah. yeah. And Brendan Shine over here, uh, sitting, he kept me on the road for six months. He gave me the lend of a van. <laughs> Of course, the show. I wasn't too busy at the time. <laughs> <laughs> How are you good? Well, you, you, you had a spare van. That's that's right. Uh, and I I bought a van, and when I just put the van on the road first, uh, 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 there was only just the local fellas working away, playing a bit of the local halls, and and I bought a, a second-hand van, and the engine blew up in it, and, and I went back to the guy I bought it off, and I was just looking for the lend of a van, and he said I don't have one. He said, but Brendan China's two vans. And I said, what good is that to me? So he lifted the phone and rang Brendan. And Brendan says, come out here and take it. So it's out of the back of the pub in, in Bayloch. So I had the van. It was so and, lovely, Brendan. Lovely thing to And uh, that kept me going. And the next thing, who shot JR happened. I saw, I went off and bought a new Mercedes van. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, will you do will you do a song for us tonight? I heard you singing this lately, and I just fell in love with it. Uh, will you will you sing this for us tonight? Oh, it's a Christmas song. Mm. Yeah, back a few, few years ago, I was looking to record a Christmas song, and every time every song I listened to was after being recorded by everybody about twenty times. So I sat down and I wrote this song. Like it, 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 it won't be a million set or anything like that, but it's it's my own. Well, we'd love to hear it's it. Called when we? I think of Christmas. We'd love the TR. Of Christmas time, I think of Christ the King, who was born in a stable in Bethlehem, cause there's no room at the inn. But Mary, his blessed mother, and Joseph by his side, one day this boy would be our Savior. And for all of us would die Jesus is our guiding light Who's there for us both day and night To help our children as they pray Christ was born on Christmas Day Up in the sky, help the shepherds on the way, and the three wise men that came from the east found where the baby lay. With all the presents that they brought, it was a joyful night. Now man can live forevermore. Because of Jesus Christ Jesus is our guiding light Who's there for us all day and night To help all Christians as they pray 
Christ was born on Christmas Day. Jesus is our guiding light, is there for us all day and night to help all Christians as they pray. Christ was born on Christmas Day. Christ was born on Christmas Day. Beautiful, Tom. Beautiful. Well, this next song you're going to do, it uh, tell us exactly how many years it was uh, since it be was number one. I, I just love oh, this. Well, this is my yeah, favorite song of yours. It's uh, it's uh, this this time of the year. Actually, it was October. Funny enough, October 1980. Eighty, it was a hit record, and it's still popular today. It's one of my favorite songs, and uh, for a session like this, a sing along, and whenever we'd be in a a place that someone might ask you to sing a song, maybe late at night, it's one they can sing and everybody joins in. So that's the idea here now, that we want you all. To all, you, all you nice people, and for all you people watching in, you can just uh, join in. Oh Lord, it's so hard to be humble when you're perfect in every way. I can't wait to look in the mirror I get better looking each day To know me is to love me I must be a hell of a man Oh Lord, it's so hard to be humble I'm doing the best that I can I used to have a girlfriend I guess she just couldn't compete With all of those love-hungry women They keep crawling around at my feet I probably could find me another I suppose there's no one like me Who cares I'll never get lonesome I treasure my own company. Let, let's hear you now. Oh Lord, it's so hard to be humble when you're perfect. When you're perfect in every way. I can't wait. I can't wait to look in. I get better looking each day. As I get better looking each day. To know me is to love me. To know me is to love me. I must be a hell of a man. I guess you could say I'm a loner, a cowboy outlaw, tough and proud. I can have lots of friends if I want them. I wouldn't stand out from the crowd. Some folks say that I'm egotistic, but I don't even know what that means. I guess it is something to do with the way. I fill out those skin type blue jeans. Are you ready now? Oh Lord, it's so hard to be humble when you're perfect. When you're perfect in every way. I can't wait to look in the mirror. I get better looking. I get better looking each day. You know me is to love me. You know me is to love me. I must be a hell of a man. Best that I can, and I'm doing the best. 
Reach Out Country Christmas Reunion. Go get yourselves a cup of tea, maybe mince pie or maybe something stronger. And we'll talk to you in the next half. Reach Out Radio, the new national and global online radio station bringing you the very best in Irish and American country music 24-7. Launching on Saturday, January the 1st, New Year's Day at 9am with incredible prizes to give away, including tickets to Garth Brooks. With thanks to Aiken Promotions. Tune in on reachoutradio.com or download the Reach Out Radio app. Reach Out Radio, a better brand of country music. Sixty, the new album from Daniel O'Donnell, featuring fifteen brand new recordings. Sixty, out now. Billy Morrissey events proudly present Portugal 2022, hosted by the fantastic Trudy Lawler and featuring a stellar cast of stars of Irish country. This will be a fantastic week of music, dancing and great fun in Villamora, Portugal from May the 15th to the 22nd, 2022. Staying in the beautiful Dom Pedro Villamora Hotel, enjoy a superb week of fun in the sun with all the stars including Margot, Brendan Shine, Mick Flavin, Jerry Guthrie, Mick Foster and Moya Fraser, John Hogan, Paddy O'Brien, John McNichol, Max T. Barnes, T.R. Dallas, David James, P.J. Murray, and lots more. To book this amazing week of country music in the sun, check out our website, billymorrisseyevents.com or follow us on Facebook. This is our limited, so don't delay. Book today. Stewart's Music Shop, Dungannon, County Tyrone. Ireland's leading record shop. We specialise in Irish country and American country music. We also stock rock, pop and the biggest selling chart titles. Musical instruments for the beginner and for the professional. Come visit us at Stewart's Music Shop, Dungannon, for all your musical needs. There's a lot of love in this little old town. It's brand new from Nathan Carter, Little Old Town. Twelve brand new recordings. You've got gold, gold inside of you. It's available from your music supplier and available to, to stream everything. and download on all digital platforms. Take me back to the Little Old Town, the brand new album from Ireland's award-winning star. Moore's Drinks, proud sponsors of the Trudy Lawler Show on Reach Out Radio, a better brand of country. So far, so good is the brand new album from Mike Denver. It's all right. It's okay. 12 brand new recordings. Good enough for me. Available from your CD supplier and on all streaming platforms. Good enough for me and Bobby McGee. Bless every home beside your phone. My own dear Galway Bay. Mike Denver. So far, so good. Don't take her, she's all I've got. It was my father and my mother's love that made this house a home. Thank God I've traveled every mile of my pocket full of dreams. It's brand new from Derek Ryan. On the bottom of the bottle, he was my best friend. Soft ground. Oh, 12 brand new original songs. Males will try and break you. Wherever you're going, I'll go to that song. Available from your music supplier and available to stream and download on all digital platforms. Derek Ryan. The brand new 12 track album is now on sale. Welcome back to the second half of the Reach Out Country Christmas Reunion! Hey Trudy, I believe that you have been so, so busy 
as the new editor of this wonderful RSVP country edition of this magazine. Can you tell us a little bit more about it? I can, of course, Margot. At the start of the year, I was approached by uh, the owners of RSVP uh, magazine, which is a monthly magazine that probably most of the women here would pick up. And uh, they wanted to do a country music special because they knew the demand is out there for our music. And uh, so they asked, would I be editor of it? And would I help put it all together? And uh, I was delighted with the opportunity. Uh, so this is our second edition. And we have a very few very well-known faces that you'll see today on the cover and features inside as well. And then next year, it's going to be five editions. So everybody will be featured um, at some stage. But it's exciting and it's for country music fans all over the world because you can order it online as well for all our viewers that are tuned in from all over the world tonight and it only retails at three euros 95 so we're delighted with that it's wonderful for our country music family and uh, this is something we've been waiting for well that's wonderful but i think that you have some wonderful news to announce tonight about something really special that's going to happen well, I, i'm just so proud to be able to do this on christmas night Margot. it's an idea that i've been working on for the last year year and a half um i feel definitely local radio has been great you know internet radio community radio uh, has been fantastic but the demand for our music worldwide is gone through the roof and uh, the reach out show on Easter Sunday night was proof of that with the viewers that turned in almost 300,000 people watched it. Um, so I know that it was out there. I'm very fortunate with the people that are involved in backing our very own national country music station, Reach Out Radio. So this is for all of us here for our music to be played. 24-7. Uh, it's initially starting out on Saturdays and Sundays. Our first show goes out live on uh, New Year's Day, the 1st of January 2022, start of a new year. And it is made up of presenters uh, who have worked on local radio. And it's all going to be live and interacting with our audience globally. We're super excited about it. Uh, the people are committed for a minimum of three years and they reckon it's going to be just absolutely huge. We also have a special show coming every Saturday night uh, from the home of country music over in Nashville. Uh, so already a lot of our American counterparts are aware of this new station and they're coming into Ireland. And one of the things I want to do is to make sure that all of us Irish country music singers, from new people to people on the road for years to established artists, are going to get a chance to be performing before these big international stars. Yeah, instead of, as you say, somebody coming in from America with them, that they can put an Irish act on in front of the likes of Garth Brooks or whoever the case may be. Yeah, absolutely. And there's a lot of huge American country stars going to be visiting here in uh, 2022 and 2023. Uh, we also have other ideas where I just have ideas for the Irish country music family to be respected in a, a more higher profile uh, setting uh, for radio, for TV, for magazines, because I'm very proud of every one of our family. And this is what is exciting about this. Um, it's going to unite us all. It's going to unite the followers and fans of our music all over the world. So New Year's Day. Uh, kicking off at eight in the morning. And uh, we just want every one of our fantastic stars here to make sure that everybody knows, all their followers and all their fans. And again, tonight we're delighted with the, the huge uh, viewership as well. So it's going to be wonderful and it's we're wonderful, all excited. Wonderful, wonderful news. Thank you. Thank you. Philome Philomena wants to be the first featured because she, she said she's the eldest and time is running out. <laughs> So we'll have to do a special on this lady here. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Marco, we have uh, two great, great artists here that you're going to chat to. Absolutely, two great. I'm glad I have Mick here beside me because last night when he got here, he made an announcement that he had never met me. Oh, really? and, uh, yeah, he had never met me. And... Uh, I, he is getting old now. I know. So along with Philomena, he'd need to be put on quick too because <laughs> I met him several times. I was able to pick a couple of times out. And I talked to you, Tony, about uh, the high chaparral and Castle Island. And you were on. There was a cabaret on before the dance. And you and this man here were in your wee green and 
your white tights and all that. And you played before I went on. You can understand why I didn't remember if it was that long ago. <laughs> <laughs> that but anyway, suits. you have travelled all over the world and kept our music going all over the world. You really have. So You're so, we were, so popular. We were very lucky. We were, we're 46, heading for 47 years now as Foster and Alan. And Isn't that great? A long time to be in the same job. Well, yeah. We're nearly yeah. 55 years playing together, but... Uh, we were all in the one band when we were young lads, T.R. and Tony and myself and a few more lads. And, then... and I washed their clothes for them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I earned the shirts. <laughs> no better woman. Yeah. As a matter of fact, that night that I met these two guys here was in a taxi outside the Mulroy guest house in Kilburn. And you were stuck in the back of the car. We're probably doing, going for an interview somewhere. No, you just were, you just weren't. You just were after finishing a gig. All right. And you just were. And she was right. between the two of us, wasn't she? You were between the two of them, <laughs> and they were playing the accordion. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we go back that far. So, God, it's great to have you here. And well, we'll just give us it. a couple of tunes and a couple <clears throat> of songs. Oh, sure, look, uh, we, we'll do our best and God see how, how the game goes. Okay. I've been a wild rover for many's the year I spent all my money on whiskey and beer But now I'm returning with gold and great stone I never will play a wild rover, let's hear you I say it's no She answered me nay Such a custom as yours I can have any day And it's no Sovereign's bright And the landlady's eyes Opened wide with delight She said I have whiskey And wines of the best And the words that I spoke That were only in jest And it's no And when they've caressed me as oft times before Surely never will play the wild rover no more And it's no Good. Is, is, is that in your program, like probably from the very, very beginning? Yes, from the very start. And the all program the... doesn't vary very much, you know. Yeah, I know. We, we suffer from a thing called laziness. <laughs> we, ha we have one rehearsal a year, and that does. But it's not. And on, it's on, a, a, on a tour, the first night of the tour is the rehearsal. It's enough. Too much. It's enough. <laughs> 
Oh, oh my lord, my lord. No offend overdoing it, you know. No. Yeah, you don't like. Would you give us another one? We will. Another song you can all join in and sing is called A Hug. Oh, it's even in the same key. I remember I wasn't much older than four, maybe five at the most. The goats of school mornings were colder. No such thing as a bus. Our mother was searching for school bikes and combing our hair the wrong way. As she buttered our toast and buttoned our coats, here's what my mother would say. Ah, we all need a hug in the morning and one at the end of the day. Any is possible but squeezed in between to keep life so as I may. No matter wherever you're on the road, your problems be great or be small. It is my belief, for instant relief, I hope is the best cure of all. I met an old exile in Boston who long to come back home one day But he thought there'd be nobody caring For he'd been so long away To stop a teardrop in his coffee He gave his old whiskers a tug And I knew that he'd give all he needed to live For a big welcome home again Tony, is that Ben Sands that wrote that one? Ben Sands, ben Sands. wrote that and, and he gave it to me about six years before we recorded it. And uh, it was fly- thrown in the front of the car and uh, eventually it was playing it one day and I says to Tony, we better record this before someone else does. And uh, Someone else did. But they didn't get it before us, you see. Fella, so that's fella, all that he man. did, the fella sitting behind them. <laughs> I don't mind him. <laughs> He's only a gossip. You made more money than <laughs> <laughs> Well, we've come to a, a very important part of this night now. Anyway, with this next lady that I'm going to introduce you to, and it's none other than we had the, the first lady, and now we have the Queen of Country Music. 
Philomena Bagley. Thank you very much, Margo. And indeed, I suppose, uh, we go back a long, long way. I, I first met you in Fenton Hall uh, when you and Tom were dating way back. I when think you were at the Old Cross. I wrong mistake. It was Bearer Hall. Well, whatever you want. Don't, ah. We're not going to argue over no. a bloody hall. Well, that's a good start, Anna. Aye, well, anyway. I met you there with Tom. You were going out yeah. together. And you we were, were only after getting engaged, I think. Yeah, you, you were with the Old Cross. That's right. Kayleigh Bannon. Oh, no, I wasn't engaged that time. Go on no. ahead. No, you don't ring you on you anyway. Right. But anyway, I met her back then, and then, of course, our paths have crossed all down through the years. Uh, we did an awful lot of things together. We toured together, uh, doing Ireland and, and England and Scotland. And indeed, we went to Nashville, and we recorded in Nashville. We yeah, did some the, crack recording we songs, some, didn't we? Yeah, we recorded. Do you know what? I went out the week before her to get things in order. And she landed out, and then she, I said, you learn all the words, Philomena, you know, before you land out. So she landed out, we recorded the CD, and we went to do a video as it was at the time. And I used to have to lay down on the ground, shouting up the words to her, as Benny Loy, God rest him, was, was filming the songs. We had such wonderful and that's a true times story. In, in Nashville. And uh, I remember um, there, was a, there was a little bar in the, in the Hall of Fame Hotel, and sometimes we'd go to bed, and the, the ones that were running the bar, they used to, in the end, they gave Philly the keys and told her to lock up when she was gone. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we were going over, we were doing, um, he took, he took uh, your place. And we were walking down a hill uh, and the camera was coming towards us at a, at a church. And I might have been going a wee bit fast, I don't know. But I had no, no juice in me the night before, but the creator here, she, she, she said to me, Will you stop walking so fast because I'm going to cope? <laughs> <laughs> so we've had wonderful times. We recorded together and we did the Grand Old Opry together and we had wonderful times with all the old grand ladies of oh, country music. They, I remember asking them would they come and join us on the recordings and the videos. Peter Davis then. And they were, most of them are all well, gone all, now, but so they all, all came. Now. They never <laughs> I said, must be going to be the next. No, 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 no. No, there's a couple of them left yet. Oh, there is. You're, you have a long way to go. You're all right. But anyway, this lady here has been in the business for 60 years. And uh, 60 years next year. And uh, she'll be celebrating, and I know she, she, she's told people about this, she'll be celebrating her 80th birthday. And doesn't she look absolutely wonderful? Oh, thank you very much, Margaret. You're making me cry now. So, um, um, Susan has been there most of that time. It was just sort of the three of us. I think, Sandy, you were with the Duskies at that time and you were doing the Eurovisions and all that. But it was just the three girls here, uh, Susan, Phil and Margot. Awesome. And as Susan has done her bit, the you do well. queen of country music, would you give us a couple of songs? I will indeed. But I'm going to go up there and stand up there because stand up there. I, I, I can't, I can't, sh you know, when I'm sitting down, I don't have a breath anyway at the best of times. But if you see me coping here, you'll know. I don't, I'm going, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, but it's great to be here. And honest to God, I'm delighted that I was able to come here tonight, uh, today, for and celebrate this uh, Christmas party. And it's all the ones that's here tonight now, you know. Well, we'll say no more. Mike Denver here. I'm going to be working with him later on in the year. No, later on this you know, next week. And we're going to continue. I'm going to do a wee selection of songs that I recorded way back many, many years ago. I'm going to do a couple of wee medleys, but this is the first one. I don't even know what it is. Start it up there, boys, and I know which of them it is. I'm packing up my old suitcases. To go see old familiar places Give me blue skies and sunny Texas weather I crave the smell of good old saddle leather I've got Texas 
Kind of a bit of a tongue twister, that. All right, I'm going to do another wee medley of songs. I hope to God I get through them all, to tell you the truth. Because I kind of, my puff's not as good as it used to, you know. Never mind your puff, carry on. <laughs> <laughs> all right. But I'm going to do this wee medley. These are songs that I sang and recorded away back years and years ago. Was away, probably rank, recorded them in the late 60s, early 70s, some of them. So we're going to start off here, right, boys? <laughs> I apologize for the misery that I put you through You were happy when I found you I was blue You believed me and you were right I really fell for you I apologize for the hurt that I found I apologize, but my words won't say enough. You don't believe me, but darling, please try. If I must lose you, I'll let you go, but never give you up. I apologize for the hurt that I've caused. Folk back home think I'm a star now When they hear my records play They say their hometown girls made good And should go a long, long way 
Mom wonders why I don't drive back in that big fine car I own. The truth is I don't have a car and I'm ashamed to go back home. A pair of false eyelashes and a tube of cheap lipstick. A pair of worn out high heel shoes and a dress that doesn't fit. These are all of my possessions. All I have to my name. And a record played in my hometown is my home. Brand new from Derek Ryan. On the bottom of the bottle, he's my best friend. Soft ground. Twelve brand new original songs. Bells will try and break you. Wherever you're going, go to that song. Available from your music supplier and available to stream and download on all digital platforms. Derek Ryan. The brand new 12 track album is now on sale. Out Radio, the new national and global online radio station, bringing you the very best in Irish and American country music 24-7. Launching on Saturday, January the 1st, New Year's Day at 9am with incredible prizes to give away, including tickets to Gareth Brooks. With thanks to Aiken Promotions. Tune in on reachoutradio.com or download the Reach Out Radio app. Reach Out Radio, a better brand of country music. Thank God I've traveled every mile of my 
my pocket full of green. Billy Morrissey Events proudly present Portugal 2022. Hosted by the fantastic Trudy Lawler and featuring a stellar cast of stars of Irish country. This will be a fantastic week of music, dancing and great fun in Villamora, Portugal from May the 15th to the 22nd, 2022. Staying in the beautiful Dom Pedro Villamora Hotel, enjoy a superb week of fun in the sun with all the stars including Margot, Brendan Shine, Mick Flavin, Jerry Guthrie, Mick Foster and Moya Fraser, John Hogan, Paddy O'Brien, John McNichol, Max T. Barnes, T.R. Dallas, David James, P.J. Murray, and lots more. To book this amazing week of country music in the sun, check out our website, billymorrisseyevents.com or follow us on Facebook. Places are limited, so don't delay. Book today. There's a lot of love in this little old town. It's brand new from Nathan Carter. Little Old Town. 12 brand new recordings. You've got gold. Gold inside of you. Available from your music supplier and available to stream and download on all digital platforms. Take me back to the Little Old Town. The brand new album from Ireland's award winning star. Welcome back to the Reach Out Country Christmas Reunion. And it's all about our Irish country music family here uh, tonight. And speaking of family, of two of the finest talents that we have in our Irish country music family, uh, the great Jimmy Buckley and his beautiful daughter, Claudia Buckley. Thank you, Trudy. Thanks, Trudy. Happy Christmas to one and all. Happy Christmas to you both. Well, speaking of family, just tell us a little bit, Jimmy, about this gorgeous girl uh, when she was a little girl for Christmas and Santa Claus and all that, the memories you have of her. Well, to me, she's still only about four years old, in my own head anyway, and uh, I'm very proud of her the way that she's... Uh, she's uh, she said to me earlier on today, she just feels absolutely overwhelmed with all the fantastic being here among all these brilliant artists and friends that I've made over the years and she's so happy to make them her friends as well so uh, we're really delighted about that but when she was a small kid she was mad for singing and mad for you know sort of if you like every up to every sort of mischief if you like but uh, the country music sort of I suppose when she was listening to me all the time singing songs around the house and going away playing music and that she would uh, she would she took more of an interest if you like so um, it kind of grew from there and so now there's no stopping her at all. She's fantastic. <laughs> I mean, we're, we're so proud of Claudia because she's an incredible talent in our family, a beautiful girl in every way. Thank you. She really, really is, and a credit to, to you both, Jimmy, you know? Thank you, Julie. Um, but growing up then, for you as a little girl, I'm sure every Christmas you saw your dad getting ready on Stevens' night and going out performing and all that. Did you go to many of the shows as a young girl? When I was small, I used to come home. It wouldn't matter what day of the week it was, I'd come home. And I say when I was small, he still thinks I'm small. Like he said, in his mind, I'll always be four years old. But I remember coming home and my brother and sister would be far more, I want to say, they'd get home and they'd do the homework and they'd eat the dinner and they'd do everything that they had to do. I was home and I knew he'd be upstairs and he'd be changing and getting the case ready. I'd, I'd hear the squeaky case coming down the stairs and thudding down the stairs and I'd know, right, where is he tonight? And I'd say to mom, where is he tonight? And she'd say, uh, Mallow. Don't even think about it. <laughs> because I'd beg and beg and beg to go anywhere. Oh, yeah, I did, yeah. Do you know, always, yeah. And I, I tried to go to as much as I could. And I'll, you know, I'll always remember and I'll, I'll always be grateful for those times, you know, just sitting on the side of the stage and looking at him and the band and seeing how much everybody enjoyed the music. And I knew very, when I was very small, I says, this is something that I'd love to be able to do or something I'd love to be able to be a part of. It's all I knew and it's all I wanted to know, really. And you saw that, Jimmy, yourself when she was so young, the interest that she had in her country music. Yeah, I, I did really. We actually were at a uh, kind of a, 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 a... She was in this stage school in Galway and uh, we went to see her um, perform as part of a play, I think it was called Glad Rags. Mm -hmm. And this little small blondie one came out into the middle of the stage and started singing. That was the first time I realised that, you know, she had a great if you like charisma for it and that she could sing as well and I got excited about it and I was really excited but at the same time I was saying oh Janie Mac <laughs> yeah. what's, going, what's ahead of us now <laughs> but look she loves it and you know she loves all the old great country stuff here in Philly and Margot and Susan and yourself Trudy and all, all the 
the lads here today singing the great old country songs and it's a it's traditional country music that Claudia loves, the kind of stuff that we'd have all listened to. And uh, she just, I, I, you know, I wish her all the best because uh, very proud of her indeed. You know. I'm proud of him as well. Mutual respect from you both, which is wonderful. Uh, Jimmy, will you start us off with a song? We, we just I want will. To hear you. You, I will t- indeed. Tell us a little bit about this yeah, special song. This song, I suppose, I suppose, like like us all, every every singer, you're always looking for that that elusive hit song. And uh, Henry McMahon, uh, fair play to him. He wrote me this song. Of course, he wrote so many many big hits for for uh, for many singers. And uh, in back in 2003, he wrote me this song. And it's a song I have to perform at every show, no matter what. And I would be asked to sing it, you know, no matter where I go. And I'm glad of it. And I'm always glad to sing it. It never gets old with me. It's called On Your Wedding Day. The first time I saw you, I loved you with all of my heart. First time I held you, I knew someday we must part. Next Saturday morning in church, I'll give you away. In my eyes, happy tears I can hide on your wedding day. It's hard to imagine a baby. Tiny and small is now a young lady, a beauty so pretty and tallish. I know you love, love me in your wedding dress and bouquet. When you walk down the aisle with your husband on your wedding day. Your mother, she nursed you through many a heartache and pain. And if you were to ask her, she'd do it all over again. She's watched you go into the woman that you are today. She's so happy and proud of her daughter. On her wedding day It's hard to imagine A baby so tiny and small Is now a young lady A beauty so pretty and tall I know you look lovely In your wedding dress and bouquet You walk down the aisle with your husband on your wedding day. have chosen above everyone I know he loves you and cares for you every day like your mother and I cared for you in the very same way everyone it's hard to imagine a baby so tiny and small
Thank you, Julie. What a hit. What a hit for you. Uh, will you do another one? We can, we will, Mitchell, yeah. Right? Actually, we'll do a little duet together. It's a song that uh, Claudia and I recorded. And uh, I suppose a song that's kind of a, if we could call it a kind of a half pandemic type song. It's that one of those those things about, it's called Storms Never Last. We, we might get up to, to sing this one, you oh, know. Oh, yeah, I'd say Let, we Help me reach the high notes. Beautiful. Jimmy and Claudia Buckley. <laughs> Storms never last. Do they, baby? Hard times all pass with the wind. Your hand in mine steals the thunder. You And every road we took, Lord knows our church was for the truth. And the storm brewing now won't be the last. Storms never last, but do they? beautiful so special so special to hear that in years to come all, all the times and your grandchildren and great-grandchildren be able to see Gweezy, singing Trudy, and record no, great-great-grandchildren <laughs> and all that kind of thing uh claudia now we can't let you just get away with doing a duet with your daddy we'd love to hear you singing in your own right as well will you do Thank one you. for us tonight? i'd love to i'd love to and i just have to say as well you know over the past year i suppose we didn't get to two too much musical things but one thing I definitely got to do more was I got to go down and spend a bit more time with my grandparents I'm very lucky I still have I'm 23 I still have my four grandparents you know and my mother's parents just live down the road and I like to go down to my my granddad and sing him a couple of songs that's what he likes me to do but he always says you can only come down when I've time for you when I've time you can come down and sing what you want so I'd sing him a couple of songs and he'd say no nah, don't like that one, have you anything else? Or he'd stop me halfway through, but this song he always likes when I sing it through and uh, he might even give me a clap at the end. So I know he's gonna watch at home today, so this is for my granddad. And I'm gonna stand up again. Beautiful, <laughs> Claudia Buckley. <laughs> Face of an angel 
Pretty eyes that shine I lie awake at night Wishing you were mine I'm standing here holding The biggest heartache in town Whenever you my breath Oh, I try to speak, but the words won't come. I'm so scared to death And when you smile that smile The world turns upside down Whenever you What is it about you that makes me keep my feelings here? And I wish I could tell you, but the words can't be found. Whenever you one of our finest Irish country music entertainers, the great Michael English. Thank you. Woo. Thank you. Michael, Christmas night, um, I can't help but think about your dad and of you and uh, your sisters as well because it, it's not going to be an easy Christmas and it hasn't been an easy Christmas for you with the passing of your beautiful mum. Yeah, I suppose, you know, Christmas is a, a very happy time for many people but it can be a sad time too this time of year. You know, mum loved Christmas and and uh, if she was around today, she'd be uh, watching in. So we miss her terrible. But, you know, it's, uh, we have to go on. And, and my father's a great person. And he's very positive. Uh, but it, it hasn't been easy. I don't think, I don't think uh, you can explain. Uh, you have to lose your mother to know what it feels like. And um, it's tough enough, all right. But sure. Oh, what a we just admired about you in the Irish country music family, Michael, was during your grief with the passing of your mam, you reached out and you made all the phone calls that were humanly possible from all your followers and fans all over the world. And I thought that was lovely because I was afraid nearly to say it to you because I knew you were, you were grieving. But you said straight away, you, you felt it, it actually helped you through your grief process. Yeah, I love talking to people anyway. And, you know, I was, I was phoning people every morning like everybody else here. And, and then they started phoning me back. Some people got confused and started phoning me back. But uh, it, I know it was great to, to talk to people. And, and the other thing that I realized at, at, at Mam's uh, passing was... You know, I have a brilliant family, my, my dad, my, my two sisters, but we often speak about this family here. And uh, I never realised how, how much the people in country music meant to me. I, I always, you know, had great friends in the business, but it was more evident when Mam died, you know, that everybody was very nice to us. And, and uh, it was great, yeah, absolutely, yeah. 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 But the Reach Out campaign, I mean, it was fantastic because... You know, I was talking to people who were kind of in the same situation as myself. You know, they had been sick or, or, or had lost somebody or whatever. So it was, I, I found it great now. Thanks to you and Billy. Well, 
at all. We're delighted, Michael. And just talk to me a little bit about, because you're one of our highest and most brilliant songwriters. Uh, talk to us about songwriting. Was it a chance for you to do a little bit of songwriting during this pandemic? Well, I, I just uh, finished writing a musical and uh, that took me a year uh, to write. And uh, Sandy was my mother. She was supposed to be my mother in the musical. And then, of uh, uh, co uh, course, uh, COVID stepped in and we had just finished the last dress rehearsal and then we couldn't couldn't go on the road with it. But we will. We're going on the road with it. 2023. But uh, so I found then when, when, uh, when COVID started, I, I was a little bit ran out of ideas. for well, After writing a musical for a year, I took a little bit of time out and... I moved to Nace and um, I suppose moving into a new house, I was very occupied uh, sewing Beginning grass and painting of. and <laughs> <laughs> things that I would never do. But I, and now, I, now I'm writing again. Uh, I, I've released a, just a couple of months ago a new song that I wrote uh, called Dance with a Memory. So yeah, I'm Beautiful. back, back, back to, uh, writing now, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Will you sing as one of your beautiful I'm going to songs? sing a, a song that I wrote a good while ago, but out of all the songs that I that I that I wrote, this was my mother's favorite song. She loved this one, and it was it's called A Million Memories. My tears still hide a million memories. Today I read the letter. That you wrote me And I've kept it in my pocket All these years And I try to see from your side Of the story As my tears still hide A million memories I've traveled from Chicago down to Houston I've walked the streets of Baltimore and Bakersfield To try to find an answer to my question as my tears still hide a million memories You know I've cried so much My tears could fail an ocean And since you've left I've traveled many stormy seas and I've tried to mend this heart of mine that's broken But my tears still hide a million memories Let's hear it for this great band, fantastic Just like the roses that I gave you through the years But like a rose, our love just withered and just died there Now my tears still hide a million memories You know I cried so much, my tears could fill an ocean And since you've left, I've traveled many stormy seas And I've tried to mend this heart of mine that's broken but my tears still hide a million memories. My tears still hide a 
a million memories. Beautiful, beautiful. Your mama would be proud. Thank you. Very, very you. proud. Will you do another one for us? And I will. I, I just love this. Oh, I'm singing this all the time. I love this song. Yeah, it's time to be a bit happier now. It's all right. time so to be happier. And we'll I'm going to sing Ding Dong, especially for Philomena down there. She loves, <laughs> she loves this one, don't you? I'll get up and do it. Will I, will I do it up? Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, Sunny day on the beach of the coconut isle. I like a mermaid stranded on a lover's bay. I said, Honey, I like your style. Our eyes made four when she came along. Then my heart jumped to one, two, three. And she gave me a reason to sing this song. And I dreamed that she would say to me, Oh, won't you be my baby? Your love it drives me crazy. Now don't you see, like ABC, that you gotta hold on me? I said, Ding, ding. Sing along my song and make you jump Feel the rhythm till the morning comes Gotta move that body, gotta get it right Gotta party on a sunny day like Ding, ding, dong Sing along my song and make you jump Feel the rhythm till the morning comes The rising sun will make you feel alright We're gonna dance right into the moonlight All right. Song about the crazy little thing called love Cause a man needs a woman And a woman needs a man Like a flower needs a sun above And when the night will come And the moon will shine I know we're gonna rendezvous Cause I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it Baby, won't you make my dream come true Oh, won't you be my baby Your love interacts me crazy Don't you see, like ABC That you are the one for me Feel all right, we're gonna dance right up to the moonlight. Ding ding dong, sing along my song, and make it jump to the rhythm till the morning comes. Gotta move that body, gotta get it right, gotta party in a sunny day light. Ding ding dong, sing along my song, and make it jump to the rhythm till the morning comes. The rising sun will make you feel all right, we're gonna dance right up to the moonlight. is a lady I suppose um, that I've really gotten to know over the last number of years and uh, would have grown up as all of us would have uh, with all the, the wonderful talent that's here tonight listening to their songs and 70 years on the planet she's a 70th birthday this year give her a huge round of applause Margot 70 and I know you're going to be touring next year with your 70th and, and she uh, birthday tour she was always tour. saying I was older than her you know, <laughs> now we know are. <laughs> Margot will you do us a favour and sing a beautiful song um, that uh, we all love and it's, it's yeah. you know I, mean, I, think I, I was you know I started singing Irish songs you know so I'm not going to go away from that yeah. so I'm, I'm going to go up there to the boys I I'm not used to this sitting down we here. Want to, we want Philomena to hear. might be pulling at me or something. <laughs> anyway, Jonathan, will you give me a start yeah. there? One, two, three, two. 
cold winds from the mountains are calling soft to me the smell of scented heather brings bitter memories the wild and lonely eagle up in the summer sky flies high or shine a golden where my young willy lies do you remember darling we walk the moonlit roads i held you in my arms love and never let you go our hands they were entwined my love all in the pale moonlight by the fields of shadow golden on a lonely winter's night then came the call to arms love and the hills they were flame and from the silent mountain the saxon strangers came i held you in my arms love my young heart wild with fear near the fields of shot a golden in the springtime of the year and you thought my darling Willie all through the summer days I heard the rifles firing I held you in my arms, love Your blood ran clear and bright And you died by shadow golden On a lonely summer's night But that was long ago, my love And our sun rose fine and tall the hills they are at peace again the saxon strangers come there's roses on your grave my love there's an eagle in the sky flying high or shadow golden where my young willy lies flying high Shine a golden where my young willy lies. Thank you so much. <clears throat> and seeing as it's as it's uh, Christmas and all that, I'm going to sing a, a song I recorded way back in 1972. It's called the Family Bible. You all join in now with me in this one. There's a family Bible on the table It's pages worn and hard to read But the family Bible on the table Will ever be my key to memories at the end of day when work was over and when the evening meal was done dad would read to us from the family Bible 
And we count our many blessings one by one I can see us sitting round the table When from the family Bible Dad would read I can hear my mother softly singing Rock of Ages, Rock of Ages, clap for me. All right, lad. Come on, a round of applause for these wonderful musicians. Now the soul world of ours is filled with trouble. This soul world. If we found more Bibles on the table And mother singing rock of ages left for me I can see us sitting around the table Can hear my mother softly singing Rock of Ages, Rock of Ages, clap for me Rock of Ages, Rock of Ages, clap for me Thank you so much, thank you Thank you. Well, we're going over live now to Nashville, Tennessee, to the home of country music. And joining us now is a man, along with his late dad, had 33 number one American hits from everybody from Garth Brooks, Johnny Cash, the late great George Jones, and many more. We're welcoming to our Irish country family tonight, the great Max T. Barnes. Well, howdy. Welcome to Nashville. Hi, Trudy. Merry Christmas. I sure miss y'all. I wish I could come back over soon. We'll get there. Anyway, Merry Christmas. Say hello to my friend Paul Hollowell. He's going to help us today on this song we're going to do. I wrote this many years ago, and you might still remember it. Uh, we'll see if you do. Here we go. Three, four. Three, four. I read a note my grandma wrote back in 1923. Grandpa kept it in his coat and he showed it once to me. He said, boy, you might not understand what a long, long time ago. Grandma's daddy didn't like me none, but I loved your we had this crazy plan to meet and run away together. Get married in the first town we came to and live forever. But nailed to the tree we were supposed to meet instead. If you get there before I do, don't give up on me. I'll meet you when my chores are through, but I don't know how long I'll be. But I'm not gonna let you down. Dark and wait and see, and between now and then, till I see you again. Me. 
grandma passed away in the doorway of a church where me and grandpa stopped to pray you know i had never seen him cry in all my 15 years but as he said these words to her his eyes filled up with tears if you get there before i do don't give up on me i'll meet you when my chores are through but i don't know how long i'll be but i'm not gonna let you Darling, wait and see And between now and then Till I see you again I'll be loving you Love me Yeah, between now and then Till I see you again I'll be loving you Well, welcome to Paul's house. We're just sitting around here talking and playing, having fun. Wish we was there with y'all for Christmas. I sure hope you have a good one and a happy new year. Maybe we'll let Paul sing this one. Not a good idea. Uh, this is my old friend Paul Hollowell. We've known each other forever. He's He can't keep a job. It's been like 30 years with this last person. Who was that? Uh, Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton. Playing piano with Dolly Parton. and Yeah, but before that, probably not much well reba mcintyre before reba mcintyre yeah yeah but probably like that you was homeless or something well, what about carl perkins uh, he played with carl perkins he's played with everybody look how far he's fallen he's playing here with me today <laughs> anyway merry christmas we're going to do you one that i wrote for randy travis years ago there's a really cool cartoon video online check it out this one's called before you kill us all <laughs> something wrong, baby, I don't know, but the goldfish are floating at the top of the bowl, and the doggy don't eat, it just lays around, and all night long, it makes a lonesome sound. before you kill us all. The way the plants are dying, you swear it's fall. Looks just like autumn up and down the hall. And I talk to them, baby, like you're supposed to do. But they're tired of hearing about me missing you and I know I had it coming and it's all my fault but baby come back before you kill us all well it's a desperate situation I've got a strong will to survive but if this place is any indication well I may not make it to cats down to three more lives. You turned us all into nervous wrecks. We just to sit around and wonder who's gonna be next. And I know you had it coming and it 
it's all my fault But baby, come back before you kill us all Baby, come back Baby, come back Before you kill us all Randy Travis well, Merry Christmas everybody And a Happy New Year So long from Nashville Good stuff Paul Thank you so much, Max. Thanks for joining us live from Nashville, Tennessee, and a very happy Christmas to you and all the family. This time, my brother Daniel has taken time to record a couple of songs to join us here on this Christmas edition, and we're so, so grateful. I'm so proud of this young man, Daniel O'Donnell, my brother. Thanks very much, ladies. Lovely to be with you, and I hope that you're all enjoying the show at home, and thanks for giving me the opportunity to be part of this very special show at this special time of year. Merry Christmas to you all, and I'm going to sing a few of my favourites, starting off with this one. A poor orphan girl named Maria was walking to market one day She stopped for to rest by the roadside Where a bird with a broken wing lay A few moments passed till she saw it For its feathers were covered with sand but soon cleaned and wrapped it was traveling In the warmth of Maria's small hand She happily gave her last peso On a cage made of rushes and twine She fed it loose corn from the market and watched it grow stronger with time Now the Christmas Eve service was coming And the church shone with tinsel and light And all of the town folk brought presents To lay by the manger that night there were diamonds and incense and perfumes In packages fit for a king But for one ragged bird in a small cage Maria had nothing to bring She waited till just before midnight so no one could see her go in And crying she knelt by the manger For her gift was unworthy of him Then a voice spoke to her through the darkness Maria, what brings you to me? If the bird in the cage is your offering Open the door, let me see Though she trembled, she did as he asked her And out of the cage the bird flew Soaring up into the rafters on a wing that had healed good as new Just then the midnight bells rang out And the little bird started to sing 
A song that no words could recapture Whose beauty was fit for a king Now Maria felt blessed just to listen To that cascade of notes sweet and long As her offering was lifted to heaven By the very first nightingale's song Thank you. This next song I learned from an old record of Jim Reeves. Hope that you like it. No place, no place, no place. Hey, 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 snowflake. My pretty little snowflake Who, who, who The change in the weather has made it better for me Hey, 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 snowflake My pretty little snowflake You've got me warm as a fire with a burning desire for you Snow was falling when love came calling on this lonely heart of mine You were standing there with snowflakes in your hair You kept stalling while my thoughts were calling on everything I knew For one excuse to get acquainted with you Then I said, Snowflake, Snowflake. my pretty little snowflake Snowflake. Who, 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 the change in the weather has made it better for me Hey, 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 Snowflake, Snowflake. my pretty little snowflake. Snowflake You've got me warm as a fire with a burning desire for you The ice was breaking and love was waking in a winter wonderland As I felt you slip your fingers in my hand Now snow is gleaming and I'm not dreaming I know this is for real The love I have is too much to conceal Hey, 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 snowflake Snowflake. My pretty little snowflake Snowflake. Who, 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 the change in the weather has made it better for me Hey, 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 snowflake Snowflake. My pretty little snowflake Snowflake. You've got me warm as a fire with a burning desire for you Oh, there they go. The snowflakes are falling. Ah, thank you very much. I'd like to do another song for you now. I don't know how many songs I'm supposed to do, and I'm sorry that I'm not along with everybody else and uh, Killarney, but we're on tour at the minute, and I'm sending all this back to them. And thanks to all my own people here, Porrick and Blake and uh, Kieran and Matt as behind the camera, and we have just one camera, so there's no choreography. (laughs) <laughs> anyway, I'll do a couple more and if uh, you want to put them out, that's fine. This is a song that was written by our good friend Shuni Cramsey. I recorded it on our Christmas album many years ago. It's called The Christmas Story. The sound of silence echoed Through the valley there below And in the moonlight shadows walked Two people in the snow Looking for a place to stay As night drew into morn But little did salvation know A saviour would be born And glory, hallelujah Sang the angels in the sky They sang a prayer to heaven So that man would realize That God the Father sent His Son Among us to forgive 
to make this place we call our home a better place to live the angels sang in heaven as a newborn baby cried the shepherds and the three wise men could not believe their eyes as the shining star it guided them to the stable where he lay a savior just a baby born upon a christmas day and glory hallelujah sang the angels in the sky they sang a prayer to heaven so that man would realize that god the father sent his son among us to forgive to make this place we call our home a better place to live to make this place we call our home a better place to live Oh, thanks to Shuni for that lovely song. Well, I'm going to finish up now. Merry Christmas again to you all. I hope that you're having a lovely Christmas season and I wish you all the best for the new year and please God, I'll meet you somewhere, sometime during this coming year and uh, we're going to leave you with a wee bit of Elvis. I'll have a blue Christmas without you I'll be so blue thinking about you decorations of red on a green Christmas tree won't mean a thing dear if you're not here with me and when those blue snowflakes start falling that's when those blue memories start calling you'll be doing all right with your christmas of white but i have a blue 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 christmas i'll play it now just a little bit of choreography Oh yes, one, two, three, forward, one, two, three, back. A little bit to the side, and a wee bit to this side. Yeah, oh, no expense spared. Are you with me? One, two, three, and a one, two, three, and a one, two, three, and a one, two, three. <laughs> oh, maybe we'll just sing it. Are you ready? Yes. And when those blues snowflakes start falling that's when those blue memories start calling you'll be doing all right with your christmas of white but i have a blue 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 christmas oh you'll be doing your Christmas of white but I have a blue a blue 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 Christmas thanks Trudy and Billy and Margaret back to you in the studio and Merry Christmas again everybody thank you Daniel that was just wonderful you have just made everybody's Christmas even more special 
Well, joining me now is one of the most popular country music entertainers we have in our Irish country music family. Will you please put your hands together for Mike Denver? Thanks, Judy. Mike, how special is the coming together of all our colleagues and our family here tonight for you? It's a great day. It's great to see so many faces, I suppose, for the last year and a half. We've seen very little people, as they say. So it's, it's great to see so many faces here today. It's a, it's a great thing for country music to see everybody out. Well, of course, you've been very, very busy during the pandemic. Tell I us have. a little I've been, bit about I've been your beautiful cha- little daughter. Yeah, me is great, so she is. So it's got, I'm really looking forward to Christmas this year. It's going to be a, a great day. We can't wait for Santi to come and see, what's, see what, what presents come. So talk to us a little bit about Mia, because she's obviously the, the apple in your yeah, eye, yourself I, and Liz. I and suppose I was one of the lucky ones with the with uh, COVID. The pandemic hit at the right time for me. Mia came, uh, we've done our last gig on the 8th of March. Mia was born on the 20th, so I was there for, for every bit of it. So it was it was great. She was she was a little bit of an early arrival. She came a, a few weeks ahead of schedule, so the timing was good for me. So Santa Claus and everything, busy with you yeah, today? Yeah, it's, it's good. No, she's good and active at this stage, so it's, it's going to be a great Christmas. Well, Mike, for, for all your fans out there, you reached out again, like everybody here, you reached out all over the world to fans and, and during the Reach Out initiative. Um, how important was that for you to reconnect with, with all your followers? Yeah, it was a great way of staying in touch. I suppose I was one of the guys, I didn't do too much on uh, the Facebook Lives and that kind of stuff. So uh, the, uh, like everybody at the beginning, we thought we were all going to be back to work within six weeks and six weeks to three months. We said, we'll definitely be back, but it, it just lingered on and on. So I suppose the Reach Out campaign was a great way to stay in touch with people. There were so many people that I hadn't spoke to and these were faces that you would have seen on a regular basis, whether it's me or anybody here that were coming week in, week out to the gig. So it was great to get in touch and see all the, or hear all the voices that, that we would have seen over the years. And tell me this, do you think it has made our Irish country music family closer? Yeah, of course it has. Anything like that really helps when you're when you're getting in touch with people and, and uh, I suppose to, to feel closer to you. So it, it was a great campaign. It was a great, great way of, I suppose, everybody connecting with each other. Well, you're known as the Galway boy, so will you sing us a song all about Galway? I will, no problem will whatsoever. On this Christmas night. On this Christmas night, <laughs> and we won't do the Galway girl. We'll stick with one of the old classics this time. It's a song I recorded called My Dear Old Galway Bay. The great Mike Denver. Thank you. It's far away I am today From scenes I roamed a boy And long ago the hour I know I first saw Illinois But time nor tide nor waters white Queen my heart away Forever true, it flies to you, my own dear Galway Bay. My chosen bride is by my side, her brown hair silver gray. Our daughter Rose is like her grows, as April dawn today. With gifts like these, I live at ease Where I near Galway Bay Oh, grey and bleak, by shore and creek The rugged rocks abound But sweet and green, the grass between Has grows on Irish ground so oh, friendship fond of wealth abound And the love that lives always Bless every home beside your phone My own dear call may pay And hope 
full moon and the heart of fire once more. For all the gold the world might hold, I never leave your shore. I'd be content with whatever God sent, neighbors old and gray, and I'd lay my bones near churchyard stones beside you, Galway Bay. The blessings of a poor old man be with you night and day. Blessings of a lonely man Whose heart will soon be clay It's all of heaven I ask of God Upon my dying day My soul to soar forevermore Above you Galway pay my soul to soar forevermore above you call we pray. I'm one of the old Irish classics. Mike, sit down here beside me and you're Lovely. going to sing something, a beautiful, beautiful song that we released uh, during the pandemic. Will you tell us a little bit about I'm this I'm going to song? do a song this time. It's another great Irish song. It's something newer, I suppose, to people. It's a song, to me, it's, uh, it has great meaning for over COVID. We've lost so many people that it'd be at family, friends, neighbours. We've lost so many people that won't be ever at a gig again. And to me, I think this song is one that... Uh, it, it seems to touch a lot of people's heart and tells a story. It's a song called Goodbye, My Old Friend. I love to hear it. Mike Denver. <laughs> Goodbye, my old friend. Your troubles are now over. Rest your weary bones There's nothing left to do Farewell, my old companion You will be remembered And as you leave this world I thought the world of you All that was in your heart You carried on your shoulders The mark of your old hand Is embedded in the past Let go of it all No more tears or laughter You're ready for the road It takes you home at last Goodbye, my old friend Don't be afraid, I'm with you I'll guide you to the light Your restless spirit free And parting holds such pain There may be no tomorrow Dreams inside your heart will all come. 
come true for me Goodbye, my old friend I have to let you go now You were the gentle breeze That light upon my way I know you won't be far You're that angel on my shoulder So goodbye, my old friend We'll meet again someday So goodbye, my old friend We'll meet again someday oh, Goodbye, my old friend You can see a lot of emotion here. It's one of them songs that Tonight, seems to bring Mike. the tears. He's ruined Christmas. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Another of our hugely popular artists, uh, and particularly during the Reach Out campaign as well, is the great Nathan Carter, ladies and gentlemen. What a great talent. Thank you. Nathan, we spoke a lot, and I, as, as I said, I, I think you have my number blocked probably now. You certainly, you were, you were making so many I calls. I unblocked it yesterday. It's did, you? Yeah, <laughs> did you? But Nathan, you reached out to so many of your fans and followers all over the world during the Reach Out initiative. How was it for you? Um, it was actually probably more beneficial to me than it was for them. Um, I just, it was great to get chatting to people again. It had been so long um, since I'd actually met people that follow what we do and, you know, come to the gigs. And we, I think we get a, out of it as much as they get sometimes. I did ring a couple of people and they put the phone straight down, though. They thought it was a joke, you know. They did, <laughs> um, but I uh, rang them back then a few times and they, they answered. But it was good. It was, it was great to chat to people. And a lot of people going through, sometimes you think that you're, you're having a bad day. <clears throat> and then you'd ring someone and realize that they're, you know, not too well or their their family member um, hasn't got too long left. So that just instantly changes your opinion on the whole thing, you know. So it was good, really good to chat to people. And I know we spoke as well one of the days I was chatting to you. Um, I was just asking you how your, your mom and dad and all your family were. And of course, because you're living here and they're living in Liverpool, uh, you, you hadn't gotten to see them for, was it over a year, I think, at that time? Yeah, I think it was like nine or ten months at some stage. But like so many other families, to be honest, we, we didn't get seeing um, people for so long. And uh, definitely was tough. And um, I, I missed the gigs more than anything. I didn't realize how much I would miss the band, just the crew, just traveling, being, um, we can all relate to it, just being on the road and the buzz that you get from a live gig, you know. So I did miss it and, um, you know, in the last couple of months, it's been fantastic to get back on stage, um, to get the buzz and to see people enjoying live music once again. For 2022, it's going to be an incredible year for all of us here in the business. But as I said to Mike, just in relation to the country music family and the Reach Out country music family, do you feel we as, a, as an industry and as a family have come closer together throughout this pandemic? Uh, definitely, yeah. I mean, it is very tough. We've we've probably all spoken at different occasions on the lack of play for a lot of, uh, you know, the singers in this country singing our type of music. And um, unfortunately, a lot of the stations, the, the country shows are just being, you know, stopped or replaced with daytime uh, pop shows or, or indie shows or whatever the shows are. So um, the like of this is, is great. And it's given younger people a shot like Claudia. Um, and paying huge respect to people in the, that have been in the business for so many years um, which deserve all our credits to be honest you know, so. Nathan you're going to sing a great song I love this song yeah this is a song I released um, a couple of months ago this is a originally a Scottish song by Andy M. Stewart uh, a lot of people have recorded it through the years the Dubliners and so forth but um, I tried my own version and uh, it goes something like this
For the sober men are plenty And drunkards barely twenty There are men of over ninety Who have never yet kissed a girl Give me a rumbler rover From Orkney down to Dover We'll roam the country over And together we'll face the world There's many that find enjoyment from her solicitous employment Their ambition was this deployment From the minute they left the school They save and scrape and ponder While the rest go out and squander See the world and rub and wander And the happier as a rule For oh, the sober men are plenty And drunkards barely twenty There are men of over ninety Who have never yet kissed a girl Give me a rumbler rover From Rockley down and over We'll roam the country over And together we'll face the world Through all the nations, in light of all creations, I tried to waste sensation when the company did prove kind. My pardon was no pleasure, I drunk another measure. For the good things that we treasure, put the wrong ways on me mind. For so my men are plenty, and how could barely twenty? There are men of over ninety who have never yet kissed a girl. Give me a rumbling rover, from Orkney down to Dover. We're on the country over and together we'll face the world. Take it away! If you're bent with arthritis, your bowels have got colitis, you've galloping bolichitis, and you're thinking it's time you died. You've been a man of action, or oh, you're laying there in traction. You may get some satisfaction thinking, Jesus, at least they tried. The sober men are plenty, and drunkards barely twenty. There are men of over ninety who have many a kissed a girl. Give me a rumbling rover from Orkney down to Dover. We're all Together we'll face the soul of men are plenty And drunkards barely twenty There are men of over ninety Who have never yet kissed a girl Give me a rumbling rover From Arctic down to Dover We're on the country over And together we'll face the world Yes, we're on the country over And together we'll face the world Fantastic. Nathan, I, look, we can't get you to leave without singing the song that, uh, you know, just your yeah, yeah, huge, um, huge hit for you. Talk to us a little bit very, about very how lucky. it came about and all that. It came about this song many years ago, had in a band called The Old Crow Medicine Show singing it. And um, then found out it was actually Bob Dylan that wrote the original version of the song. Uh, they, them guys had a, a bluegrass hit with it. Then I released it here in, in Ireland and then later on in the UK. Um, and then a guy in the States called Darius Rucker released it after myself. Uh, he earned a lot more money than I did off the song. Uh, but listen, I'm so glad to have, have recorded it. Um, used to go in, into coppers in Dublin and it would be played twice a night, you know, and just uh, it just opened a lot, a lot of doors for me. Um, so very grateful for it. And uh, I'll still be singing it for many years to come. Wonderful. Well, no we'd doubt. love to hear it tonight. Nathan Carter. Here's Wagon Wheel. out to the land of the pines I follow my way into North Carolina Staring up the road, pray to God I see heaven lights I made it down the coast in 17 hours I pick me a bouquet of dark wood flowers I'm hoping for rally so I can see my baby tonight So Let's keep 
to get me down. Lost my body, paid poor, so I had to believe. I ain't turning back to live with that old life no more. Yeah. That's a long talk. He said, We're strong, I come a land gap to Johnson City, Tennessee. I gotta get a move on before the sun. If a baby come on down, she's the only one. Cause if I die in a rally, at least I will be free. Happy Christmas to everyone at home. Hope you're all singing along. So rock me, mama, like the wind and the rain. Rock me, mama, like a self-bound train. Hey, hey, yeah, mama, rock me. So yeah, rock me, mama, like the wagon wheel. Rock me, mama, in a way you feel. Was like a day. Thank you very much. What a way, and can we just, just give a reference to the man who produced Wagon Wheel for you? Tell us about him. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Great. Jonathan Owens back Woo-hoo! there, yeah. Well done, Jonathan. He bought a new house out of that, you know that. <laughs> well, while we're talking about Jonathan Owens and all these uh, wonderful musicians, I just want to just give them credit because a lot of us, when we came together, when the song for the Reach Out initiative uh, came about and Billy Morrissey and Max T. Barnes wrote the song Reach Out. There was absolutely no budget to do anything. And I just think it's important for everybody to know out here tonight that when I lifted the phone to ask all the country music stars, a lot of them you see here tonight, some of them at home, they reached out and they didn't mind and they wanted to be part of it. And this whole sense of community came about. Everyone sang their lines in their own homes. So that was some kind of a a conundrum for people that were in the recording studios putting it together. So I want to acknowledge all the recording studios who lent their facilities for all of the singers to come and record our pieces for the Reach Out song. And also to Jonathan Owens, who put the whole jigsaw puzzle together and made it sound like uh, we were all in the one studio at the one time. And Enda as well, I want to thank you, and all the studios uh, that reached out as well. And then when it came to recording a video, again, uh, I reached out and all of the singers straight away said, yeah, and they recorded their their piece in their own homes and their sitting room. We were really in lockdown at that time, uh, so none of us could get up to meet and uh, do the song together, make the video together. So again, we reached out to the great Ed Hannigan, who's up here working with us tonight. And Ed, again, put every bit of the video together. And, uh, you know, it's just incredible. The reaching out and the support, and not one person looked for a penny in a time that our business was decimated. Everybody came together, and that's what I think is unique about our reach out, our country music family. So thanks very much indeed again, Ed. Thank you for that. I'm going to go over to our Queen of Country and Irish, uh, Margot. Talk to us a little bit about the people who have passed on before us from our Irish country music family. We want to acknowledge them tonight as well. Well, absolutely. I don't think that any of them are forgotten and sometimes we might not mention them. But I mean, uh, you know, there's Big Tom, there's Gene Stewart, there's Brain Call. You know, if any of you want to name people, P.O. McCann is gone. 
you know, there's an awful lot of people that have passed away, and they laid the, the you know, the foundation for everything. And just as Philomena and Susan and Brendan here and Sandy and all of the older acts, Foster and Al and TR, and we all laid a foundation for people like you, Claudia, to come along and carry it on. And we hope that you will carry it on, people of your age. So for all the people that are not able to be here and all the people that are passed away, uh, we remember them all tonight. Well said, Margot. That was absolutely beautiful, beautiful words. And not forgetting Larry Cunningham either. Yes. I can't forget Larry. Great, Larry. Well, that's just about it for the night uh, for our Christmas reunion from our Reach Out Country Music family. On behalf of all of us here tonight and our musicians and all the crew, we want to wish you a very, very happy Christmas and a great new year. We look forward to seeing you all out in 2022 where we can do it all over again and meet everybody as well. So from us all and the Irish Country Music family, good night and happy Christmas! Nose reindeer had a very shiny nose, and if you ever saw it, you would even say it close. All of the other reindeers used to laugh and call him names. They never let poor Rudolph join in any.
nothing quite as comforting as talking to a friend It sure feels good to make somebody feel good now and then So take the time to make the time Pick up the telephone Let somebody know you care We're not in this alone There will never be a better time Don't let this moment go Someone longs to hear from you So much you'll never know And though we can't be with them Reach out and keep in touch Tell your friends and family You miss them all so much Reach out what the good Lord said Good times will return again There's brighter days ahead Though we may be weary On our hearts but to the test Reach out and call a friend Cause old friends are the best Reach out to see if they're okay Don't put up tomorrow What you can today.